This tutorial will show you how to analyze NMR data in Mestranova. If you still need to install MNOVA, click on the annotation on the screen or find the link in the description. The video description also contains information for troubleshooting issues in Mestranova. Topics covered in this video include general commands, NMR analysis, which will involve setting a reference peak, integrating peaks, determining chemical shift and multiplicity, and finally I'll go over some miscellaneous analysis tools. We'll start by opening a file. Click the folder, which is the Open button, or go to File Open in the menu. Navigate to the folder where you saved your data. For NMR data, you'll either open the FID file or a .mnova file. If at any point you want to save your spectra and any analysis you've done, go to File and Save As to save your work as a .mnova file. This allows you to close the program and come back right where you left off. To zoom in on a region of the x-axis, left click the plus magnifying glass, and then left click and drag on the spectrum where you want to zoom. To zoom out, select the minus magnifying glass and left click on the spectrum, or click the full spectrum button. To deselect a command, hit the escape key. With no command selected, you can pan that selected area of the spectrum by left clicking and holding on the x-axis and dragging left or right. If at any time you need to undo a command, control Z or clicking the red arrow will revert your last command, while the green arrow or control shift z will redo. If your peaks need resizing, you can change the y-axis by clicking the increase or decrease buttons in the toolbar or by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. Now we can start analyzing our data. The first thing you want to do is set a reference peak. Click the reference button and find your solvent peak, most likely deuterated chloroform or CDCL3. The peak is a singlet that should show up around 7.25 ppm. Click on the peak and set the reference to 7.26. If your sample was run in a solvent other than CDCL3, refer to the chart in the description to find what your reference peak should be. If at any point you need to deselect a command, hit escape. Next we'll integrate our peaks. The simplest way to integrate is to use the manual integration feature. Click on the arrow next to the integration button and select manual. Alternatively, you can press I on your keyboard. You want to select the whole peak plus some on each side without selecting adjacent peaks. The Auto Detect Regions command in the same menu will automatically integrate your peaks, but it may miss some regions or integrate impurities. To delete an integral, right click on the green integral and select Delete Integral, or select Delete All to delete all of your integrals. To change the integration value, right click on an integral and click Edit Integral and change the normalized number to represent the number of protons. The next step will be to determine chemical shift. One way to do this is to hit Control K on your keyboard, or you can find the peak by peak option under peak picking. With the peak by peak selection method, left clicking on a peak will select it and show the chemical shift at the top of the spectrum. Alternatively, the automatic option under peak picking will select all of the peaks for you but again, may select impurities or other undesired peaks. A third option is to select peaks with the manual threshold command, which can also be accessed by hitting K on your keyboard. This will allow you to select only the peaks above the horizontal red line and in between the vertical ones. Multiplicity can be determined with the manual selection mode in the multiple analysis options. Using this mode, select the peaks you want to analyze, making sure that the peaks you want to analyze are above the red line. Alternatively, the automatic multiple analysis option will automatically analyze your spectrum. However, as previously mentioned, with the automatic analysis mode, you may analyze undesired peaks. Additionally, if you've already picked peaks, the auto analysis will only be done on the peaks that you've selected. As mentioned in the mass spec tutorial video, Mestranova is a very powerful program and there are many tools you can use to make data analysis easy. This section demonstrates a few extra tools that you may be able to utilize, and you are encouraged to explore all of MNOVA's capabilities on your own. Some of the additional features have been covered in the mass spec video, including drawing structures in MNOVA, pasting structures from ChemDraw, annotations, pasting spectra into other documents, and exporting spectra as PDF files. If you'd like to check these out, click on the annotation on the screen or find the link in the description. The first set of features I'll show you are the Stack and Superimpose Spectra features. Selecting multiple spectra by holding Control or Shift and left-clicking in the Pages section 
will make these options available on the left side of the screen. The Stack Spectra command will put all of the selected spectra in the same page, but not overlapping. The Superimpose Spectra command will take the selected spectra and put all of the traces right on top of each other in the same spectrum. These features can also be found in the Stack menu option. When stacking or superimposing spectra, you may need to scale one spectrum more than the other. You can do this by using the Multiply and Divide tools on the left side of the screen or under the Stack menu option. To switch the spectrum in focus, use the Invert Order button on the left toolbar or in the Stack menu. When analyzing NMR data, you may come across spectra with uneven baselines or ones which are improperly phased. The Baseline Correction and Phase Correction commands allow you to correct for this. The Baseline Correction is automatic and can be done by clicking the Baseline Correction button or hitting B on the keyboard. Phase Correction can be done automatically or manually. Automatic Phase Correction is found under the Phase Correction options. Manual Phase Correction, found under the same menu options, is operated by either left-clicking or right-clicking in the blue text and dragging up or down. If necessary, you can adjust the pivot point by left-clicking on it and dragging left or right on the spectrum. Thanks for watching the NMR data analysis tutorial, and I hope the information was helpful.